Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Today I want to try something and use acrylic lacquer, acrylac, in my acrylic pour as a base color white because to be honest I'm always really lazy with all this white mixing. I'm really a little sick of it because you need so much and I bought this in a hardware store and it's not that expensive. You would paint your doors or window windows with it. It is also waterized. It has a little bit of a smell to it. And I wondered if it a if it works and if it would be cost uh, efficient. Now I always preach in all my videos that 30% pouring medium to paint is sufficient to keep the pigment connection together. If I calculate that with my cheapest white uh, craft paint, eventually it would this would be more expensive than just using. PVIC or Floetrol, but if you're one of the people who uses like a 50-50 or even more, it would generally um, be cheaper, I think. Of course, it's also difficult to say because I don't know where you are and how much it costs. I think this is valid for the Netherlands and eventually also Germany, but just have a look around and compare it. So the good thing with this is that it also already comes in the really right consistency and that is what would be a big plus for me. This is really exactly nice. So eventually I wouldn't use it for every project but if it works well together with my with auto acrylic paint I would perhaps use it in bigger projects. So let's just make it simple. I'm gonna make a little flip cup and we're gonna look how it turns turns up at the end. I just picked the blue and the green and there's a tiny bit of silicone in it. I just want to keep it simple and have the majority white because yeah, that's what I want to have a look at. So let's just put them together. Okay, so this is now like the simplest of all flip cups, a little bit of color in it, but I have really a lot of white, so of course that's a little risky if I tilt it, perhaps I have only white left. That's why I'm going to give it a little swirl. I always paint an S. Ooh, look, the stick looks cool. Let's flip it. Lots of white. Okay, so I see this is funny. You see that this even expands. I think this is a mile or something what other people sometimes call this um, where they say it has this cloud effect because I never have seen this behavior and I think in this language <laughs> whatever it is it says something with emalia but it's just varnish actually and I have poured with varnish as pouring medium and it didn't behave any different here the white took over like crazy Well, I have uh, made a white painting. How is it possible? Where did all the color go? Okay, so...
that does not look like a wonderful idea. So if I would have like a white background, like not in a flip cup, like in a puddle pour or something. There's really no color left. So if I would have it as a background color, just as a base, it does flow exactly the same, but it makes such weird patterns. So no, I think it's, it's a no. I'm really, really surprised by that, to be honest, but I then will eventually try to do with where I just mix a teaspoon of that into my base color and see if I can get this famous cloudy effect. So uh, look out for that video. But this, uh, it seems it has eaten all my color. So weird. Okay, thanks for watching. I hope you found this interesting, another experiment. And I hope to see you back soon.